Well, in less than a week, an Abilene boxer will represent not only Abilene, but the entire state in a Texas versus Michigan boxing tournament. This Abilene fighter has already made a name for herself in state tournaments, the Junior Olympics, and has an undefeated record. It may surprise you to know that this boxer is female and only eight years old. KTAB's Claire Kreitz has this hard hitting story in your Eye on Abilene report. One, two. One, two, three. I started boxing because I just got angry and I started hitting stuff. And then that's when I found out that I had a strong hand. Eight-year-old Daniela Padilla started boxing two years ago. I was scared at first, but then after I started punching, I felt alive. Really alive. Right from the get-go, she showed a lot of uh, prospect, you know, and a capability of being a great fighter. Padilla began training with fighters her age, but... She was just too dominant for those boys, so I moved her up to my older class. and. From there, she just progressed and progressed and progressed, you know, and then I started sparring her with 10, 11 year old boys, and she was still pretty dominant. With a work ethic that's unmatched. 10 seconds. Go all out. And she's a very coachable. Everything you tell her, she, she's eager to, to, to learn how to do it. She trains really hard, she gives it 100% every practice. I just come to the gym, I give it all I got if I got to fight the weekend, and I just try and try. Padilla's coaches see a bright future for this little boxing beast. I've coached a lot of different girls. They get hit and they kind of shy away a little bit, but this little girl right here, you hit her, you just lit up the fire in her. She's going to come back and hit you two or three times to make up for that one hit you hit her. You know, she, she's definitely, she's a, a box full of fire. You know, don't know what you're going to get when you, when you light it up. I hope that I am a professional boxer and that I keep on getting my record of no loses but all wins so I could be a really good professional fighter. In Abilene, yeah. with coverage you can count on, Claire Kreitz, KTAB News. Wow, I am impressed. She is tough and she is motivated. Thank you, Claire. Padilla is also preparing for nationals. That's coming up in August. And, of course, we wish her the best of luck, even though she probably doesn't need it. She has the skill to prove it.